Hey guys, we've got another image sent in to us to edit and this one is sent in by Kyle here. So he's got a really diverse and dynamic uh, feed. A lot of shadows, uses a lot of filters, mostly using the natural colors and yeah, really awesome feed. Quite a few drone shots and we're going to be trying to have a go at this edit right here. So he has sent that in to us for us to edit. And yeah, his details will be down in the description for you guys. So let's get into Lightroom and see if we can edit like this. Here we have his image from his Instagram here and we have the unedited image here. And I've already gone and cropped the image down to the same size because that takes a while. And as you can see, they're still not quite the same. You'll, you'll be able to see it doesn't look quite right. And I'll show you what I've done is I've nicely cropped in, tried to match them up. But when you come back, not looking the same so what he does is you come down here go to manual and he distorts the image so sliding this up all the way to the hundred and we have compressed that image inward and now it looks similar so if we come back up here and look at the crop you can see what that has done really interesting effect to use and I don't know maybe it gives the image a bit more drama or something but yeah interesting thing to use and now we can go ahead and start editing our image so coming back down enable those and I'm gonna start with that bit of exposure really bring down these highlights bring down the blacks a bit so we've got it really nicely exposed and you'll be like that looks way too exposed but the darkness in this image is pretty much all from a vignette on the sides so you've got to think how's the middle of the image exposed because that's the bit that isn't affected by the vignette. Tad of clarity. Really drop down this vibrance. We'll bring up the saturation. So vibrance affects mid-tones a bit more and saturation will affect the whole image equally. Okay, so moving on, we're just going to do an S-curve in the channels. So that's the RGB curves done. So that's the before and after of just those curves. So hopefully you guys see why you might want to do those. Puts in a good amount of contrast and it's a bit different to doing this curve here. But I'll still use this curve because I want a fade in those shadows. Right, so put a pretty strong amount of fade in those blacks, so you can see that down there. So, we need to move on, and as you can see, we're going to put in a lot of those shadows now. So, I'm going to come down to Vignette. Darken it to about there. And as you can see, the vignette's going a long way inward. So I'm going to bring up the feathering there and bring the midpoint a long way in. So if I brought the feathering down, you can see that's how far it would go. Bring the feathering right up. 
Now, we aren't quite dark enough over here. So I'm going to bring in a filter. I get a lot of messages, people wanting to improve their Instagrams for landscapes. And the number one thing I tell I would tell people is uh, dramatic lighting. Start using filters and like this and uh, vignettes and stuff like that. Okay, so our lighting is looking pretty similar. Going to come down. I'm going to shift a few of these. So he's actually helped me in this edit a bit. So I can't tell you exactly why I'm shifting some of these, but he's just pointed out that he's made some of these changes. Okay, so coming up, now we will fine tune these colors. Not many reds in there. Yellows, they almost look gone. There's a little patch here. Shift it all the way green. So these greens are obviously very yellow and warm. Waters don't look too bad. A bit more aqua color. Saturation. Luminance, so the deepness of some colors and the brightness as well. So we definitely need to bring those greens up a bit. As you can see what that's doing. and sharpening and if we going to put a bit of dehaze in there and it gives just like a light glow to the the whites.
and coming back up. I need to add in quite a bit of contrast in there. I think our whites have gotten much too bright, so I'm going to bring them down. About there. Ease back on this filter a little. And for colors, I think there's a bit of green in the shadows. And I want to ease up on the warm greens here. So maybe shift them back a bit. And add a little bit of luminance. And yeah, we're looking pretty close, I think. And I think I'm just going to leave it there, guys. Here's... Here it is, and that's it. So, comment down below what you guys like about this. And comment down below who you guys want to see, but make sure they don't have too many followers. That way I can reach out to them. They can send in a photo, and I can do a tutorial on them. So yeah, like, comment, give them a follow down in the description. Give myself a follow, and I'll be catching you guys in the next one.